What's up guys? I'm me Chicken McCams KFB and I just arrived Korea yesterday night after the iron race so it feels pretty tired but I just wanted to make a new build video for the new 533 light switch frame kit. So this is the frame that I use in iron race and I use for qualifying brackets. So my on my YouTube channel I posted it on my qualifying run and I was using light switch frame kit and they were flying so amazing. So the frame is lighter than Switchback Pro and stronger. Also the frame is much easier to build right now so I really like it. So when I was in Tennessee in like February with Evan Turner, his of FPV, so I just talked to him like hey I want new frame which is lighter and stronger. So this is pretty much like hard to make a frame like that but I talked to Mondo as well but he did like magic in the frame so it flies even better right now so i will show you guys how to build a frame and we'll show you guys full build with the light switch frame kit so i will go to my workplace and i'll return my cameras again all right so we got the arms which is the light arms and bottom plate top plate middle plate so top plate design is a little bit different but it's designed for mounting hybrid board on top plate and it's mounted really perfect. So antenna mount, camera mount, a little bit different design. The new one, total fin. And this is for mounting wiggle. And this is the ESCs, Foxier Reaper 60 amp and hybrid board and Foxier flight controller. So these three of them is a uh, I use it before with my Switchback Pro build, so a little bit old, but it works perfect. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will ask me, what is that cap on your flight controller? So this is the for hybrid board, which is gives a little better video. And then I just wanted to do it because some people have like VTX reboot issues, but if you put the capture, it will fix it for sure. And Foxer Predator B5 533 and for the motor I'm going to use 2207 2070 kV motors from 533 uh, with the MR31 and I really like it so this is pretty much all of the parts that I'm going to use it so I will show you guys how to build a frame so now you just need this wiggle plates with this arm and now just put these arms like this it's super easy as I said, it's so much easier to build. So I'll just do the same thing for these things. Okay, so once you did it, just put these arms to the bottom like this. And now we are going to use these 3D prints. And put these 3D prints to here. So you can see like this okay it's perfect so if you put these arms and with this 3d prints it's gonna be look like this and now you just need this bottom plates and middle plate to mounting arms and make sure these 3 d print parts go to the bottom plate so it's like this okay and i will put this long screws like this and i will put this middle plate like this it's super easy so now I will do the same thing for these three of things okay so once you did it now you will need to use these two screws these two screws going to the middle of these hole which is it makes arms stays way stiffer 
Okay, so if you put all the screws like this, and now I'm going to put the standoffs. I'm using 20 millimeter standoffs. So what I really like about this frame is now you don't have to unscrew these bottom plates to change stack screws or put the stack screws. So like Switchback Pro, when you bend the stack screws, you had to unscrew all of these bottom plates and take it off and had to change stack screws. But right now with this light switch, you can easily put the stack screws right here. So I really, really like it. So now it's time to put stack screws. Okay, it's good to go. So now I will put my stacks. USC is here and my flight controller. Let it go. Okay. And as you can see, my flight controller and my camera connectors goes under the flight controller so it doesn't move when I actually mount it. So I will mount like this. Okay. It's perfect. Blasting nuts. Okay, so I think it's perfect. So now I will put my camera in one point five and put this connector. So all I have to do is just mounting motors right now. I'll just use two screws for each motor. This motor is with MR30 and what I really like about MR30 is when you're at the race and if your motor is burnt but if you don't have enough time but with MR30 you don't have to surgery. So just unplug, just plug the new motor, good to go, super easy. So I really like this and actually when I practice it really helps so I decided to use MR30 this time. Okay, now I need surging iron. Okay, one motor is done. So it's time to put the other one. second motor is done and I will put this last two motors okay so I put all of the four motors and it looks good to go for me and now I just need to put this hybrid board on my top plate so I need double side tape Now 
just put it in on the top plate. Oh, it's perfect. They fit it's perfect. And now I need zip tie to mounting my RX antennas. Okay, so this is how I mount my RX antennas on my top play. This is ghost to antennas and they fit perfect. Now, my VTX antennas. This will go like this. By the way, this is the new antenna mount from 533, which is mounting on top plate as well. Okay, looks good to go for me. Now put this hybrid board connectors. Also, when you actually build with hybrid board, this green wire go to TX, not RX. If you soldering to RX, it's not gonna work. So make sure soldering to TX wire. So yep. Put my, my own need screws for my top plate. Also, with this light switch, the top plate is with the countersunk screws, so it looks even better. Like this and with this new tunnel fan. Done with this new 533 light switch frame. It flies amazing, super light. And before we go fly, time to check. And the frame will be installed on 533 website really soon. So make sure to try it. And I think you guys will love it. And I think this is the best frame ever. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you. Thank you.